welcome my dear students to our next online maths class as all of you know that we are discussing about the integers here i am going to teach you a new things about the integers that is additive inverse first of all you have to know what is additive inverse here i have written that one for every integer there exist a negative integers here i have shown you one example that i am having plus a if i add minus a with it the total result become zero that means plus a and minus a are called additive inverse of each other i have shown you here few example you have to find out the additive inverse of 9 question number 1 question number 2 Minus fourteen and question number three is zero. So first of all, what is the additive inverse of nine? If we add minus nine with it, the total result become zero. So the additive inverse of nine is minus nine. My next example is minus fourteen. If we add plus fourteen with it. again the total result becomes zero that means the additive inverse of minus 14 is plus 14 and the third example is what is the additive inverse of zero as we all of you know that if we add another zero will with it the result becomes zero only that means the additive inverse of zero is zero itself now i am going to show you another very important part of the integers that is verify the following verification means you have to show that left hand side is equal to right hand side in this type of sums there are two part that in short we call lhs and rhs we have to show that lhs part is equal with the rhs part here i have given you two sums Question number one. I have given minus fourteen plus nine is equal to nine plus minus fourteen. You have to show that both the part result will be same. So first of all, I have taken the LHS part that is minus fourteen plus nine. So first of all, open the bracket, take out the minus fourteen plus nine. Here. 14 is a negative number and 9 is a positive number so we know when one is positive another is negative we have to do the subtraction so the result is 5 now take the sign of the bigger number 14 is bigger number so we will take the minus sign so my ultimate result is minus 5 now take the rhs part here the rhs part is 9 plus in the bracket minus 14 as usual write the first 9 then plus minus minus 14 now again one number is positive another number is negative so subtract them the result will be minus 5 so we can say that lhs is equal to rhs it is proved please follow the pattern because in the exams also you have to follow this pattern only the second number sums is little bit bigger here i have given the bracket work earlier also you have done the simplification where you have learned the bodmash rule and according to that bodmash rule we have to do the bracket work first so first you take the lhs part that is minus 6 plus in the third bracket minus 8 plus 12 so first of all we will complete the third bracket work third bracket uh minus 6 as it is we will write then take out the number in the bracket uh, that is minus 8 plus 12 complete it the result is minus 2 now complete the rhs part in the same way first of all we have to complete the bracket work complete the third bracket work take out the numbers that is minus 14 plus 12 both the numbers is having different sign subtract them the ultimate result is minus 2 so you can see that lhs and rhs both the part are equal so we can write lhs is equal to rhs it is proved here i end up my class thank you very much